One mother shares her journey of retinoblastoma in her son, diagnosed at 11 months old. Karik's mother, Lorenzia Roberts, says she realized something was wrong, one day playing hide-and-seek with him, and he couldn't see her when she was right there and calling his name. It kind of led back to where I started to pick up on certain things before, but then I figured, okay, he's just 11 months, it's fine. Stumbling, um, wobbly when walking, or even like just bumping into objects. These she saw as normal since he was just learning to walk. Roberts, thinking he just needed glasses, quickly booked a visit with Dr. Bird. She's like, yep, this child has retinoblastoma. His father turned around and he literally just beat his hand in the wall. And he, he started to cry and my little sister just turned around and she, she went numb. My mom was there still time to stay strong. But I'm like, cancer. Dr. Walwyn confirmed retinoblastoma. The traumatized mother began seeking funding through her bank However, within two days, Dr. Wallowin had made contact with St. Jude's Children Research Hospital. He did a nine months course uh, where he did um, chemo chemotherapy. He had chemo shots to the eyes, which is basically just getting the chemo's injection to the sockets of the eyes. He did laser treatment also. She says his eyes would stay swollen and closed, sometimes for a few weeks. Karik's treatment was very successful. He said, practically, you know, this tumor is gone and your son is, is fine. I was in shock cause, and surprised because I'm like, so, and this is within maybe the first half of his treatment. Roberts says Karik's vision in his left eye is really bad, while his right eye has limited vision. And it's not guaranteed his vision will ever be normal, but she has faith. Now four years old, Karik has been returning to St. Jude's for evaluation every few weeks for the last two years, and will do so until he's five years old when there's less risk. He will continue evaluations, but every six months. His next visit is the 14th of this month. Lorenzia says Karik is like any normal child, active, loves to cook, and doing well academically, learning on his own, and even teaching her. B I N T O B I N T O and B go what's his name? Oh, yes, I Sherilyn Beza reporting for ABS News.